How are we doing? Great. Dean Vogel, thank you. John Burton, thank you. Thank you for your outstanding leadership helping California's students succeed and reach their dreams. And a special thanks to my fellow teachers, our classified school employees, our principals, school librarians, counselors, and nurses. Thank you. Working together, we're a terrific team. You are my inspiration. You and the six million children we serve every day make this the best job I've ever had. You are the unsung heroes of California schools. You are why graduation rates are going up and dropout rates are dropping down. You helped us stop the budget cuts to education and put control over education dollars back where it belongs with teachers, parents, and schools. You deserve our strength. You deserve our, our very deep gratitude. But this is an election year, which means people who have never done your job will be telling you how to do your job. They'll tell you our schools are failing, telling you you're the problem, telling you that the way to make schools great is for you to give up seniority or the right to a fair hearing. Where does this come from? Where does this come from? It's straight out of the Wall Street playbook. It's not about making schools better. It's about making them easy pickings. It's about buying low and selling high. Hanging a failure sign across a school is like putting a foreclosure sign on a house. It lowers the price and opens the door for private enterprise, private interest. Now, don't get me wrong. I believe in private enterprise, but public schools, public schools are no place for Wall Street speculation. And the trading desk at Solomon Brothers is no training ground for California's next superintendent of public schools. As a teacher and coach, I believe in building schools up, not tearing them down. I believe in empowering teachers, parents, and communities to make their own decisions. I believe in partnerships that bring people together, not misguided policies that tear, tear us apart. Besides, there's plenty of work to be done to see our schools through the historic transformations already underway. We've rejected top-down micromanagement for our education system, whether it comes from Washington or Sacramento or from Wall Street. We've stopped the outdated bubble tests. We've taken $13 billion earmarked for 37 separate red tape ridden pro programs and turn those dollars back over to our schools. We're implementing the governor's local control funding formula, which means more help for English learners and children from poverty. A move of justice, the right move. And at the same time, creating more power over education dollars, giving that power to our parents, teachers, and schools. We're also doing more than ever to give our students a taste of the working world, because we know that students need these skills, that they will be used in their future careers and college. And we're working on this too. We have a long way to go, but we are bringing back arts, music, and drama to our schools. And we're working to expand early learning, because nothing helps a child succeed more than a great start. We're determined to keep all kids safe with after-school programs that keep students away from drugs, gangs, and guns, and with laws to make sure that all students are safe from bullying, protected from discrimination, and afforded the respect and dignity they deserve. Education makes teamwork. Education takes us all working together. We know that. We know that students succeed when parents, teachers, and communities work together. We built a strong team led by a governor dedicated to our public schools and dedicated to standing with us to build a smarter and stronger California. 
We have Democratic majorities in the legislature, led by Speaker John Perez and Senate President Daryl Steinberg, who have put education first as top priority. And we have a new generation of rising stars, our next Senate President, Kevin DeLeon, our next Assembly Speaker, Tony Atkins. Do we have a strong team? Yeah. A team ready to lead California in the future? Yeah. Yes. Yes, and it's a good thing we do. Take it from a teacher, Democrats. 2014 will be a test, and this is no fire drill. The, fo the po forces opposing us are real. The stakes are high. The test is whether we will stand strong together for our values, for our public schools, and for our children. The test starts now. Who's done their homework? Who's ready? And most important at all, who's with us? Thank you, Democrats. Thank you.